file read and write operations example. So, in this particular session we shall show you some sample code in written in python to do the file operations safely. So, now let us go for the sample code once again. So, in the previous video we have discussed a lot what is the file read, what is the file operations and what is the file close, what is the file write. So, a safer way to use the try and finally block. So, in the try and finally block you can find that under this try we have written this f is equal to open employee dot dat encoding is equal to utf 8. So, here you see here we have opened one file the file mode has not been mentioned. So, that means we are opening this one in the read text mode. So, there is a hash means the perform the file operation. So, here we are putting one comment. So, here the file operations are to be written and under the finally we are writing the, the operation which is going to be executed even if some exceptions are taking place or if there is no exception then also the final block is supposed to get executed always. So, irrespective of the fact whether exception has been raised or exception has not been raised. You might be asking me why this exception can get raised here. So, let us suppose this file is non-existing. So, how can you open one file which is having the name employee dot dat which is non-existing and we are opening this one in the read mode. If it is so, if the file is not existing, pre-existing then obviously it will throw some exceptions. So, this way we are guaranteed that the file is properly closed even if an exception is raised causing the program flow to stop. The best way to do this is using the with statement this ensures that the file is closed when the block inside uh, inside with is exited and without explicitly calling the close method. So, what is that what is the technique to write this one using the with. So, with open so test dot txt encoding utf 8 as f colon you can, here you can see we are read, uh, writing this one as f colon and then perform the file operations. So, when this with block will get terminated when the file operations will get completed then automatically the close function will get executed. So, let us go for one practical demonstration to show you all these details into some python coding. In this demonstration we shall discuss how to operate with a data file using python language. So, how to open a file? The method is open. So, the first parameter will be the file name and the second parameter will be the mode in which you are opening the file and then f will be the variable in which the outcome out, output of this uh, the return of this open method will be will be assigned. So, it will be denoting the file reference. So, open a file in the current directory with the write mode activated. Whenever you do not mention any path then the file will be opened in the current directory. Otherwise, we can mention a specific path from where the file will be supposed to get open. So, here we are mentioning the, uh, the full path of the file to be accessed. How to close a file? To close a file we shall have to write f dot close. So, to have a safer way to open a file we can use the try finally block. We know that the finally block code will be executed even if there is some error occurred in the try block or if there is no error or exception has occurred in the try block. So, we can write this f is equal to open file name and the respective encoding encoding method and that will be written in the try block and this particular function will be called from the final block. So, in if, even if, if there is some error has occurred or if there is some no error has occurred in the try block the final block will be supposed to get executed. This is our UTF-8. So, it is nothing but one encoding format and this UTF stands for Unicode Transfer Transformation Format. So, UTF is a comp uh, compromise character encoding that can be as compact as ASCII and but can also contain any Unicode characters which will increase the file size also. UTF stands for Unicode Transformation uh, Format and the 8 means that it uses 8 bits block to represent a character that means 1 byte will be used to represent one character. So, now let us go for writing some text onto a file and reading some text onto a file uh, from the file as a demonstration we shall go for that. So, with open so test.txt is the file name write mode and the encoding format is this as f. So, you are going to write three lines onto the file that is my first line this is file contains three lines. So, in this way we have written some text 
onto the file test.txt and then we are closing the file here. So reading from the file can also be done in this way that is with open test.txt that is the file name read mode so we are using here R encoding method is utf-8 as f and here we are reading the content of the file using the method read print f dot tell will get will give you the current position that is the current file position f dot six zero will bring the cursor to the will bring the file pointer to the initial position that is it will fill, uh, bring the file cursor to the initial position and print f dot read line so to use use to read the individual lines from a file and print f dot read lines will return a list that means the outcome will be in the form of a list from the current file to the end till the end of the file f dot close is there so now if i execute my code i'm just erasing my outputs if i execute my code i can find that it is producing the output that is a my first file this file and here we are having some slash n is there so that's why it will make one line uh, empty here two slash n's are there so one empty line is there and then we are having this contains three lines there so it contains three lines and then again one slash n so the control will come to the next line here and then we are going for this f dot tell so here we are printing this 50 that means my file cursor is at this position 50 so again we are going for the next method that is the read line so he here we are making the file cursor to the initial position okay so we are making this file cursor to the initial position so for that we have used the method that is f.60 because when we executed this f dot read then our file cursor is at the end of the file so again we are bringing that one to the beginning of the file and f dot read line in this case you can see that the first line is getting printed but if you go for f dot read lines in that case it will return a list from the current position it will retrieve the content from the current position till the end of the file but that will be obtained in the form of a list so you can see that the outcome has been enclosed within the square brackets that means it is a list and it is containing this set of lines there so in the meantime obviously this test.txt must have got open in my folder so let me go for my folder you can find that one test.txt has got open a minute ago so just if you click on this you can find that this is a test.txt has got open and there is a record content which we wrote onto the file in this particular program segment so now i think you have got the idea that in python how can we read and write contents um, onto or from the data file and how to deal with the uh, file system how to do the file processing and how to open a file using the file name then using the mode and then using the encoding technique and we have also given you that demonstration as well thanks for watching this video